What's up, Scorpio? This is your girl, Aqua Goddess, coming to give you all a general reading. Please keep in mind that this reading will be for past, present, future, and it may or may not resonate with you. If you're interested in booking a personal reading with me, if you'd like to donate to the channel, purchase any of my artwork or manifestation jewelry, all of the information will be in our description box below. If you're new to my channel, welcome, my love, and thank you so much for being here. Make sure you join the family, like, subscribe. I truly appreciate it. All right. And if you're returning, welcome back to all my day one folks. I truly love and appreciate you guys. Let's go ahead and tap right in. Holy Spirit, angels, ancestors, guides, most high. Please protect me and my collective as I channel these messages for the sign of Scorpio. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node. Please return all negative energy back to sender. 20 million fold and anyone out there showing me love much love and light to you all right spirit what are the messages for my beautiful and my handsome scorpio You're going to be meeting somebody who is 1,000, a buck. Somebody who is very real and genuine. And this is someone that you can trust. This is a spiritual connection. I see this person putting in effort in this connection with you. This is more like your forever love that you're manifesting. The sparks, the chemistry, the fire is undeniable. You guys see each other. Beyond surface level. This person understands you and you understand them. Okay. Uh, let's talk about this. Let's talk about it. This person loves you. They never want to give up on you. This is somebody who is 100% worth the wait. You know, this is about divine timing, divine intervention. This is your divine counterpart. So I'm picking up the energy that both of you guys went through a lot with your past, your past relationships. You know, people lying, being manipulative, cheating, being controlling, whatever the case may be. So it took for you guys to really go through those crazy connections in order to find one another. This person found somebody that understand them and you, you know, this person found you and this is somebody that never wants to give up on you. I like this for you, Scorpio, because you really deserve it. That's beautiful. Tell me more about this divine love spirit for Scorpio. Told you the offering. It's like this person going to see right through you. Like, I'm going to be honest with you. This is someone with very strong discernment. They're going to see right through you and they're going to know that you're very authentic and this person wants to offer you something. They don't want you to overwork or overthink or overstress about anything. This person found a whole lifetime within you. And if you guys hear music, I'm sorry, my baby's in the shower playing her music, okay? But I definitely see that. Uh, this person is definitely going to offer you a cup of love. They're like, come with me, baby. Yeah, this person wants to offer you something solid. For some of you guys, it could be a Cancer or a Pisces. And they're funny. This person is very funny. They like to have a good time. I'm hearing that this person is a comedian. I'm hearing that you're going to be laughing so hard you're crying with this person. Because their sense of humor and the inside jokes that you guys will share. Matter of fact, this is someone that's going to have a nickname for everybody. 
Could be a Virgo for some of you guys. <laughs> this person has healed from within. And this is the reason why they're ready for a person like you. They've done a lot of healing. They spent a lot of time alone. And I feel like for some of you guys, you have too. Wow. The kiss. The stone. The maiden. The vision. You see? So this person has a vision with you. They feel like you're very wise. They see a future with you. They feel like you're someone that they can learn from and grow with. This person wants to invest in you. I'm hearing that the first time you guys kiss, this person's going to know you the right one. It's something about your energy that's so solid and so real. Yeah, this person going to love you for sure, for sure. They're going to absolutely love you. This person may even want to marry you. They definitely will. I see the maiden here. This person definitely wants to marry you. They want to put a rock on your finger here because they feel like you're solid and you deserve it. This person feels like you've been through enough stress. And they definitely feel divinely guided towards you. They want to do everything to cherish every moment with you. This person sees the value in you. Told you. They definitely are going to take action. This isn't someone that's going to procrastinate with your time and your energy and your love. They know exactly what they want. You guys could be different, different races, different ethnicities, different backgrounds. Someone could be born on the 17th, October 17th, not October, November. No, wait a minute here. October, it could be any month on the 17th. But I see that this is the door to personal healing and happiness. So you guys are going to heal each other with your love and your value. I see a lot of money for you guys, too. Very strong partnership. Somebody with a plan and a vision that wants to collaborate with you. This person is going to make you extremely happy. For some of you guys, it's definitely a Leo. And I see that they're going to have you thinking in your head, thinking about this journey. Because you're going to be in shock that you found the yin to your yang. Oh, yeah. You just feel like you done been through so many toxic situations and you're such a warrior, but you're sacred and this person is going to cherish your temple. It's like you felt like you were hanging on a thread when it comes to love, but spirit says patience. There you go. Contract. Oh, this person going to want to marry you. There's nobody else for them. Yeah, there's nobody else for this person. At all. For sure, for sure. Spare, what are the recommendations for my entrepreneurs on their journey? If they're trying to start their own business, if they want to know more about how to be successful in their current business. Spare, what does my Scorpios need to know? Diversify. Content marketing. Build the no like, trust factor with your audience. Share your content on diverse platforms. So if you are a content creator like myself, maybe using multiple platforms, especially international or diverse, you know, mix it up so that you'll give everybody the opportunity to uh, check out what you have to give, what you have to share, you know? Collaborate. Business can be lonely. Find lucrative ways to collaborate with others to build both of your brands. So I feel like you and this person got your own thing going, whether it be a side hustle where you have regular clients or an actual business. This is more about coming together and collaborating, brainstorming, throwing those ideas out there and executing. You're going to have a partner. This is something that you don't have to think about all by yourself. 
And I see you being very successful building, right? You have Bill here. Build your email list and nurture your audience by staying in touch. So some of you guys definitely need to take some time to go through your emails. What I would like to do, what I do like to do myself personally is create folders. Um, I keep saying 10, 17, but create folders within your email here. Um, so that you can make sure that you always stay organized and that you're reading your emails consistently. Make sure that you're keeping contact with your customers, con continuing to build those great relationships. It's going to be a very healing phase for you, and it's also going to build your confidence. Go live. I'm, okay, I might need to go live tonight. <laughs> Be an authentic relationship with your audience by hosting live sessions around your topic on social media. So this is going live and I'm going to take this advice for myself, even though I'm not a Scorpio. Finance. Make a monthly budget for your business and personal income and expenses. Always be clear and specific about your finances. So this is really just staying organized, making sure that See, when you stay organized, you're able to decipher what you already have versus what you need. A lot of things that we go out and buy, you know, we already have at home. It's just a matter of being more organized, you know, so that way you only have to invest into things that you don't need. And finding creative ways to make your business stand out. Those are definitely recommendations from Spirit. And I'm definitely chiming in on this um, because this is very helpful on my journey. All right. You have the second chakra, sacral chakra, abundance. I am worthy and I deserve an abundance of anything that I require. I watch my thoughts to ensure that I am honoring and respecting myself. I honor myself by knowing that I am worthy to receive. I am open to receive now. I remind myself that it is a sign of strength to ask for help. So you are receiving your blessings. A lot of you guys give out so much energy that you really just deserve reciprocity. And this is what you're manifesting, someone that can help you with your business, your love, your everything. This is a partner, a divine partner that spirit sent to you for going through all these trials and tribulations with past energy. And this is, this is what you deserve. So when it comes, accept it, receive, be open to receiving. I know that you're used to being a caretaker and taking care of a lot of people, but it's your time to receive. So take that message, sink it in and receive your blessings, my love. All right. Those are the messages that I have for you today, Scorpio. If you enjoyed this reading, if it resonates with you, please be sure to like and subscribe and I'll talk to you soon. Angel number 1313. Peace.